as Bharatvarsh, the nation of India, joins hands to celebrate 75 years of its journey as an independent, free and united country, my heartfelt felicitations and greetings to one and all. This sacred land from the awe-inspiring and mighty Himalayas till the solemn and vast Indian Ocean has traditionally been looked by people worldwide as the seat of spirituality. The reason is it was inhabited by the progeny of the great sages Vishwamitra and Vasisht, Atri and Angira, Pulastya and Pulaha, and so on. The Supreme Divine Personality Himself chose this land to descend again and again in His avatars as Ram and Krishna, Rishabdev and Kapil, Dattatreya and the Buddha. Great saints from ancient times, Dhruv, Prahlad, Ambarish, Prithu, Yudhishthir, till more recent times, Sur, Tulsi, Nanak, Meera, Tukaram, Kabir, Eknath, Namdev, they lived here and taught the people to value spirituality beyond everything else. They taught us the science of yoga, of meditation, of bhakti, and of God realization. On this land, the great Jagat Gurus, Shankara, Nimbarka, Ramunuja, Madhva, and Kripaluji Maharaj sat and expounded on the wisdom of the Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas, Ramayana, Mahabharat. Bhagavad Gita, Smriti Shastras, and Shad Darshan. This built up a deeply spiritual culture. Even in the material realm, there was a time when India accounted for one third of the total GDP of the world. This country bestowed upon the world knowledge of trigonometry, calculus, algebra, the decimal system, and so much more. However, in between, for a few ages, this land went into a deep slumber. Today, it needs to rise and reclaim its glorious destiny. This is necessary not only for the 1.4 billion people living in Bharatwash, but for the entire world which needs to be educated on the purpose of human life and how it can be achieved. As we celebrate this momentous occasion of the completion of 75 years of independence, let us consecrate the symbols that build nationhood. And one of the foremost amongst them is the tricolor the Indian national flag, the Tiranga. The saffron in the flag symbolizes sacrifice, courage, valor, bravery, and renunciation. The white symbolizes purity and peace. The green stands for fertility and growth. And the blue chakra in between typifies the vast sky and the enormous oceans. These are the noble and sublime ideas on which we have to build the grand and wonderful nation of tomorrow, Bharatvarsh. So let us all get together and offer our salutations to Bharatvarsh, the nation of India, the Jagat Guru of the entire world.